have made it high five super job well done um we're gonna go through our answers for our last sheet this week for friday uh, so let's get into the work so we're out on Friday sheet, we've made it to the end of the week, so let's crack on through our answers. So Dora, Dexter and Jack play basketball at break time. They record the goals they score in a pictogram. So for each basketball, that is two goals, complete the sentences. So Dora scores how many goals? Were two, uh, one basketball is two goals, so two, four. So she scored four goals. Dexter, two, four, six, eight goals. And Jack, two, four, six, eight, ten goals. So Dora scored four, Dexter scored eight, and Jack scored ten. How many goals did they score all together? So you can either add these up here or you can count your two times table for all of them. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. So twenty-two. How many more goals did Jack score than Dexter? So how many more did Jack score than Dexter? So the difference of these two is Jack had this many, Dexter had this many. The way to look at the difference is this one has a missing ball, which means that there's a difference of two. He scored one more basketball than the others. And remember, one basketball equals two goals. How many ways could you have worked out the answer to part C? So I could either have done it the way I did it there. I could have subtracted, so I could have done 10, take away eight. I could have done eight, add something equals 10. Those are all the different ways that I can think of to answer that question. Two classes go on a trip to the zoo together. There are two coaches to take both classes, coach one and coach two. Each smiley face equals 10 children. Tick the correct answer. Which coach has more boys? Is it this one for coach one or coach two? Which one has more? Well, this one has 10, 20, and this one has 10, 20. So they have the same. Let's move on to the next sheet. I'm just going to fold this here so that I still have these questions to help me, uh, the display to help me. So B, which coach has more girls? Is it one or two? So we've got 10, 20, so 20 girls, 10, 20, 30, 40. Which one has more? Well, coach two has more because there are, well, first of all, there are 20 more on this side um, because there are two extra smiley faces. So how many girls are there? How, how many is more? It would be coach two. How many girls are there in total? So again, looking at this 10, we're going to count in our tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There are six. Six tens would be 60. How many more girls than boys are there in coach two? So there are two extra smiley faces, which means there are 20 more. How many more girls than boys are there on the trip to the zoo? So how many more girls in total are there than boys? Well, these are the same and these are the same. So this is the only difference again. And again, that's 20. So remember, look at these are the same and these are the same. So the only difference is these two, which again is 20. How did you work out the answer to part E? So as I said, I made sure that these matched up and these matched up. And the only ones that were left that didn't have any boys to match up with them were the girls. So that's how I worked out E. You could have added them all up together and then taken away the difference. Um, it, it depends on which way you'd like to work it out. At the zoo, Mo keeps a record of how many big cats he sees. Oh, I can take this one out now. Each paw is two big cats. Choose a word to complete the sentences. There are something leopards than lions. So let's have a look. We've got leopards and lions. There are something leopards than lions. There are more leopards than lions. There are something lions and cheetahs. We've got lions and cheetahs. There are less lions than cheetahs. For B, if I add the number of cheetahs and lions together, then it will equal the same number of tigers. Is Rosie correct? So if I add the number of cheetahs and lions together, so cheetahs and lions, that would be the same equal number as tigers. So we work, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six paws. So these two together would be six paws and two times six, so two for each paw would then be 12. Well, how many paws do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. We've only got five paws there, which would be 10 big cats. So if we add them together, that's no, because we know that there were 12 
um, cheetah and lion seen, whereas there are only actually 10 tigers seen. So they're not the same amount of um, and tigers, are, well, they're not the same amount of big cats that were seen. Um, also, you could see without even answering this bit, you could just say, well, these ones have um, six big paws, whereas tigers only have five big paws. So there's a difference. There are two tigers, uh, two big cats um, that the other one saw. Rambling on, sorry. <laughs> uh, so C, each paw represents two big cats. So I can just double the amount of paws and that will be how many big cats there are. Is she correct? Is Alex correct? Yes, she is correct. Because if each paw represents two big cats, if you just double the paw, then you know how much it is. So for example, lines here, two, four. So well, that would be the answer, it'd be four cats. But if I had two paws and I just doubled that times by two, would that be the answer? Yes, because if you multiply by anything by two, you are just doubling. And that's everything. <laughs> so have a wonderful rest of the day. I hope this helped you and I can't wait to see you next week. Bye.